tourmaline always stumps me at first. It's highly colored, so I'm always wondering, what is that mineral? What always saves me is that it has reverse pleochroism. So when it's oriented up and down north-south, it's darkest and lightest when it's east-west. The interference colors are typically kind of odd looking to me. I, it's hard for me to explain why. I think they seem kind of drab, but those interference colors are also distinctive of tourmaline. So here we can compare the reverse pleochroism of tourmaline, which is that long skinny crystal in the center, with biotite. You'll notice biotite is darkest when it runs east-west. Tourmaline is lightest when it runs east-west. Biotite has normal pleochroism and tourmaline has reverse pleochroism. You can also see the tourmaline has parallel extinction. So this is actually a pretty typical tourmaline. It's some little dinky crystal, highly colored. And what I notice is that when it is elongate parallel to the north-south axes of the crosshairs, it's darkest. And that's really it. Although I'll look around a section to see if there are other grains that are also distinctive. This is, in fact, from the same section, and you can see there are lots of grains. They all show this reverse pleochroism um, in sort of a weird green, dark green color. Across the polars, and you'll see that they have a parallel extinction and some rather odd-looking interference colors. This is an end section of tourmaline, and what I notice about it, in addition to the intense colors and pleochroism, is a sort of trigonal geometry to it. It looks a little like a triangle that has had its sides bulged out. That's really typical for tourmaline. Tourmaline forms these trigonal symmetric grains, prisms, and you're looking at the end of one of those. This is to show some different colors of tourmaline. So there's the green and the brownish green, but there's also that bright blue. That shows up in a few rocks as well. And then last is this large sort of tan to khaki to dark olive green pleochroism. And if you watch the biotite, you'll notice that the biotite is going darkest um, east-west, while the tourmaline is darkest north-south.